Welcome back to Headlines Now. Lawyers of the Madras High Court are boycotting work today. This is to protest what they see as a tardy probe by the CBI in the murder of an advocate's Sankara Subhu's son. Satish Kumar, a law student, was murdered last year and his body was fished out from a lake in Chennai. As the murdered student's father suspected the involvement of police officers, the case was handed over to the CBI. It is almost a year since the CBI took up investigation, but the culprits have not been booked so far. In connection with the murder of a school student in Valor, the police have arrested a street play artist. Jaya Prada, who was a class 9 student of a private school in Ambur, who did not return home after going to school on the 5th of June, after which her dad had filed a complaint. When her cell phone signals were tracked, it showed that she was somewhere near the hilly areas. The police, the police conducted a search operation and found her body in an area called Nadakupam. In the investigations that followed, the police found out that the street play artist called Paramasivam had raped her and eventually killed her. The DMK chief Karnandi has gone to Tirvaru to take part in his post-birthday celebrations. He was given a grand welcome at the railway station by his party cadres. He also took part in a meeting where 15 senior party members were appreciated with cash awards of 1 lakh rupees each. He then went to the Katur village in Tirvaru to visit his mother's grave and paid his respects. The Mato Dam could not be opened on the customary date of releasing water for the Delta irrigation, which was yesterday in view of poor storage and discouraging inflows. According to Public Works Department sources, the storage at 4 p.m. was 41.223 TMC feet, which was dismally low. The water level stood at 79.26 feet against the mandatory 390 feet for opening the dam with an inflow of 1,385 QSEX. Last year, the dam was open a week ahead of June 12. In a distressing news, an auto driver was killed in Trichy right opposite the airport. Kalidas, who belonged to Pallakarai in Trichy, did not return home last night, following which his wife had lodged a complaint. The police, who suspect gang rivalry to be the reason, have filed a case and are looking into it. The fire that has been raging for a week now at the Palikarnai dump yard has been brought under control. The fire that broke out at the 15-acre corporation dump yard in Palikarnai triggered blazes in the nearby marshland on Friday, killing several birds and animals and making life miserable for the residents. Even the firefighters had a hard time bringing the fire under control as strong winds fanned the flames. It's been more than four days since the Pallikarnai uh, marsh fire had started, but the situation still doesn't seem to be under control. Uh, even though corporation has claimed that uh, they had sent fire tenders and the fire is actually reduced right now, we can, in fact, we can extremely smell the smoke uh, uh, currently here. I am, in fact, joined by some of the residents who are in Perangudi who are facing uh, acute uh, problem because of this. What is the problem which you've been facing with the past four or five days? Well, uh, we basically come here for uh, meditation and for walking, and we're not able to really breathe properly because of the you know a lot of smoke comes from the dump yard so we're not able to breathe properly and we really uh, feel that it could pose a serious threat to our lives because it affects the you know lungs and the respiratory problem could have a lot of respiratory problems so it's we are basically worried for our lives here you know because we have a lot of heart patients and a lot of old people so that's the major cause of worry here we're not able to come here for walking in the morning as well as the evening so that's the important problem we're facing. For the past four or five days, we have tried complaining, but as of now, there's no use. That's what many residents have been claiming. Even they have been saying that uh, they want to shift their houses from this place to exactly. another place. Uh, for the past four or five days, any other issues, major issues which have been facing? 
have heard that um, particularly uh, there's been low visibility here because there's been a lot of traffic congestion because of the low visibility. People have not been uh, able to travel much because of this. And uh, it's not really good to know about the air getting polluted here. So these are the two major issues that I have, especially when I, I just we cannot breathe properly here. I mean, it's just a lot of contamination. All right. Now, uh, you have actually gone ahead and uh, have written file complaints uh, against this uh, issue, big issue. What has the response been? Actually, we are facing this problem from last eight to nine months and uh, miss this last Saturday, it was horrible. So a lot of smoke was there and we cannot able to come, means uh, we did not able to come outside. So uh, in that time, I written a mail to mayor, deputy mayor of uh, Chennai Corporation. I written mail to chief minister also, local MLA and different authorities also. I I sent mail on uh, Saturday and then again Sunday, but I didn't get any response from any authorities. I'm, I have been trying to contact to many authorities people, but they are not responding positively. And still you can see the uh, lot of uh, smoke is there. And uh, we are not able to breathe properly and it will uh, lead to a severe disease like cancer and all. This is an incurable disease, so this is uh, very dangerous to health also. And uh, this residence, uh, local residence, Pallikarni, Parangudi, Tori Pakkam, all this area, all these residents are facing this problem since uh, you can say five months, but still uh, uh, there is no positive step from the uh, cooperation. All right. Now the flip side of this fire is that there has there has been a water scarcity at this place because the corporation has been sending all the water tankers to douse the fire there, and uh, because of this, residents aren't are facing water shortage because of uh, the fire. And uh, many environmentalists feel that this is the best time actually for the rains to come in because that will actually help to help them to douse the fire and the situation can be back to normalcy. But then the situation which remains right now is that residents are facing the brunt of this uh, big fire menace and uh, hope to find a solution soon to this. Problem. In Chennai with camera person Prabhu, this is Krishna Murthy for NDTV Hindu. On a wider view, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services has announced that it has reached the cap on congressionally mandated 65,000 H1B visa work visas, the most sought after by Indian professionals. This is for the first time in several years, particularly during the recent economic crisis, that the cap on H1B visas for technology professionals has been reached mid year. It's another short break for now. Stay tuned.